Well, one to ten, I'd say yeah. we're up there. Well, <laughs> listen, any miser out there will enjoy our first film tonight because it is all about this. It's money, specifically the one pound coin. But did you know that in, uh, one in every 30 is actually fake? Well, in an effort to combat this, the Royal Mint is currently producing what they claim will be the most secure coin in the world. We sent Raphael Rowe to see, find out more. To find out more. <laughs> Next month, our familiar round pound coins are being replaced by a new, edgier version. Right now, they're turning out 2,000 coins a minute, ready to go into circulation in March. And the One Show has been granted exclusive behind-the-scenes access to film here at the Royal Mint. In total, they'll produce over one and a half billion coins, with each one intricately designed. So this brand new one pound coin is being billed as the most secure in the world. But why go to all this effort now? Adam Lawrence is CEO at the Royal Mint. The primary reason we're introducing the new one pound coin is to tackle counterfeiting. At the moment we've got over 45 million counterfeits in circulation and we can't afford to have a loss in confidence in the currency. So this is an issue we must grasp. The man in charge of designing the secure new features is Chief Engraver Gordon Summers. It's a bimetallic coin, which means it's made of two colours. Unlike the previous pound coins, it's shaped, so it's got 12 sides. On the edges, we've got intermittently milling. It's got lines down one face and then the next face is plain. We've got a hologram, so you can see a pound sign in one direction and the number one in another direction. The features we're bringing to the table here have never been done in any sort of combination or scale like this before. So I, I don't think it's going to be possible to counterfeit this coin. We've now got a coin for the 21st century. We're well ahead of the game now. It's an impressive new coin, but the changeover will come at a cost. Some councils say they're forking out as much as £30,000 of taxpayers' money to adapt parking and vending machines. So if counterfeit coins are such a problem, how likely are you to have one in your wallet? To find out, we've withdrawn a thousand pounds worth of pound coins from the bank. If one in 30 are estimated to be fake, then we should get at least 33 coins from this case that are not real. And so we've come here where they've got a special machine to test our coins. Andy Brown runs a company where they test and fix machines designed to accept pound coins. They've already adapted over 10,000 parking metres to fit the new coin. But today, he's going to analyse our thousand pounds and find out how many are fake. So show me how this machine actually works. OK, then. all right, then if we can take some of your coins, what we need to do is then we pile them into the top of the little hopper. It will spin around, put the coin through the validator and we'll slowly sort the coins to see whether they're counterfeit or not. And we don't have to wait for long. Oh, go. it's a fake. There you go. Yep. Oh, we've got a fake. Yep. OK, let me have a look at this. So how does this coin differ from this coin? Compare the designs on the front, they look identical. Absolutely. If you turn them on the back, yep. if you look at the picture of the Queen's head, yep. it's totally different. And this has come from a bank, so a bank could be giving people... Oh, look, there's another one. Yep. Another one's just come out. Okay. Oh, I'm really excited by that because <laughs> actually, you know, these this thousand pound coins came yes. from a bank, so a bank yep. could be giving some innocent bystander two fake coins exactly. because we've got two in here yep. now. Exactly. But look, yes. I'm going to let you carry on putting okay. the rest of these coins in, and let's let's see how many we get. Okay. Once we wait for the results of our test, we head to a local cafe. How many of us are unknowingly carrying counterfeit cash? All in the same time. Your money is good. Your first coin was a fake. How does that make you feel? I'm um, a bit annoying. Someone's made them and given them out for nothing. It's just so similar. I understand notes and that, but like, how do you make a fake pound coin? But what about our thousand pounds? Andy has run all the coins through his machine. So what have we got in total then? We found 19 fake coins that the validator sorted okay. out. Okay. But even the machine can't spot some of the latest, most sophisticated fakes. So he also gives every coin a close visual inspection, looking for telltale inaccuracies. 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 that we've visually found. So that's 33? Yes. Out of a thousand one pound coins. Yeah. So it kind of hits the mark of one in every 30 one pound coins yeah. we use in circulation are fake. Yes, yes. Amazing. Yes. 
Well, that, do you know, I didn't know that lots of kind of vending machines and parking meters have those counterfeit checkers in them. It answers that query yeah. when you're constantly putting coins in and they, they come out the other end. But, um, sure. there we are. Anyway, right, Griff, would you mind just picking a coin for us? Just, got two just follow your instinct. Yes. Don't worry about choosing it too much, but we're going to find out a little bit later if you've, if you've picked a fake uh, one. Okay, okay so no, pick a coin, any yeah, coin. Well, yeah. Right, pick I'm going to say that's the fake one there. That one's the fake one. So you want the real one then? You want the real one? Oh, you want the real one, yes. Yeah, because he, you know, he's going to spend it later. You want to go on with the fake. A little present for you later on, hopefully. Oh, thank you. Assuming that you've picked the right one. Oh, I see. We're not going to find out? You will. Later on. Later on. Okay. Now, Tommy, let's chat. Let's get down to business. Come on. Do you want to find out now? Do you want to find out now? No, no, no. I'm just trying to see it. Holding it is enough for me. Holding it is enough and kissing it as well. <laughs> You're like me, a parking me. You're trying to make it work. <laughs> Tommy, what are the important dates that people need to remember? The important dates, uh, first, the first date is the 28th of March. That's when the new snazzy 12-sided coin comes out. Uh, that's when it's to be officially in circulation and will be allowed to be used as legal tender. There's going to be a six-month co-circulation period where mm -hmm. it runs alongside the old coins. Mm -hmm. And then on October the 15th, that's the key date as well, it's when the old coin will no longer be accepted in shops. But don't worry, it will never lose value, even if in years to come you want to take it down to your bank or your post office, they will take it and put it into your account. Right. What about the five pound? Oh, no. the five pound, well, yes. that's, a, that's an easy date to remember. The fifth of the fifth, the fiver will be no more. The old fivers will be no more. Again, they'll never lose value. So if you do have old fivers kicking around or you find one in years to come or months to come, mm -hmm. you can take it into the bank, take it to the post office, they'll do it. Right, okay. and the rollout of currency, obviously, we're kind of used to it running quite smoothly, but it yeah. doesn't always go that way. No. It has to be controlled. Right? right, well, we actually cover this story on BBC Asian Network quite a lot because it's an India-based story. In India, last year, in November, they said overnight the Prime Minister announced no more 500 and 1,000 rupee notes. He just took them out over a day. So everyone panicked. Everyone was queuing up at the bank well, yeah, trying to sure, get their, yeah. old, their old notes in. You can see them there all queuing outside the banks trying to get in. It was a real hustle. There's a billion people trying to get their notes, trying to get their notes wow. changed into smaller notes. But that's even not been done very well because subsequently uh, about a third of those notes have been replaced with smaller notes. Mm -hmm. But they're still missing so many notes. So there's just not enough notes in circulation in India right now because of that. So it's a nightmare, but we're doing it properly here. We're doing it nicely. Right, okay. Griff. OK. It's well, the moment properly. of truth. Moment yeah. of truth. <laughs> it's the moment of truth. It's happening right now. This is it. <laughs> yes, indeed. Have you right. picked yeah. the real one or the fake yeah. one? Now, is, this is it. Go. The payoff. Drop it in. Drop, drop it, it into the shop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is yeah. our yeah. 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 Where do I drop it? Just in the last Just there? OK. Oh, it's doing go. Yeah. 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 There's a show in this. There's a show in this. I wish I bought a huge collection of nearly a hundred of them. Add it, <laughs> add it to the jar. And if you do want any advice on how to spot a fake coin, then we've put some tips uh, from the Royal Mint on our website. Royal Mint. Now, while Griff decides what he's going to spend his shiny new pound on, it's so time nice. for. A